there. The smile, the charm, the physicality. He was cocky, self-assured. There is an intensity, a drive, and that drive and that determination manifests itself on screen. More often than not, if you went to see a Tom Cruise movie, it would be a good movie. In 2005, 2006, he basically has a public image meltdown. In terms of whether anyone could have foreseen that Tom Cruise would manage to rebuild his career, I think maybe the only person who potentially saw it was Tom Cruise himself. I think there is an element of him wanting to excel at everything he does. Being the complete entertainer, wanting to do it all, that's what makes him so interesting as an action star. The fact that he's doing something that's just outrageously dangerous becomes part of the appeal of the films. There's another layer of excitement to it, and there's a certain morbid fascination with the fact that he keeps doing this, and how far is he going to take it? He's Tom Cruise. He's not just a big star still. He's the biggest star. And I don't know if anybody's had that long of a stretch where they were the biggest star in the world when they were 25 and then they were the biggest star in the world when they were 60.